Yeah, Dalton's uh, pulling the, the boat around. I mean, the main thing you have to do is uh, line yourself up with uh, the bay you want to put it in. There's always options. You can put it on the left side, right side, so it's really whatever your preference is. So you're just getting a straight line, make a nice run at it. Um, pretty straightforward, but uh, yeah, a lot of times we'll, well, we'll stop short here and take off all the straps and make sure everything's good to go. So do a preliminary check here. Let's go ahead and remove our, our straps. They're kind of tied down pretty good here. So once you get to uh, your boat ramp or your destination, you know, first thing you want to do is take your safety straps off. So we'll remove those. This is actually a fairly uh, shallow ramp. Uh, there's not a, a big angle to it, so I feel pretty safe that we can go ahead and undo the top or this, uh, the front toe strap as well. That way when you back it in, you'll have somebody on the boat and they can fire it up and just back right off the trailer without getting your feet wet. Then you want to go ahead and make sure you're, uh, you take your lock off your motor, otherwise you won't be able to trim it down. So once again, you can trim that up, turn your little lever, get that out of the way, and then you have full, full range of motion now. But we'll keep it up a little bit just so we don't hit the engine on the way, the way in. Obviously, you have a trim mechanism on your throttle as well. So when we're backing in, I'll start trimming it down and then fire it up. Good to go. You also want to make sure that your tube plugs are in here. Um, right here, these little black caps. Make sure that, uh, you know, it's obviously your drain plug. So you want to make sure that you have your plug in so your tube doesn't fill up with water. There's also one here in the center. So there's uh, three drain plugs in this one. That's because this boat has a center tube. Not all boats do.